But does the Lord God start counting just because they came into the land a particular day? No, the Father never changes. The, the constellations have never moved. The Father is counting from Taurus. So they came into the land and it began then from Taurus to the Lord, okay? So you have from the time of the Feast of Weeks, 1948, to the time of the Feast of Weeks, 1949, is one year, okay? That's one year that has taken place. But is the Lord God calling that the first year, okay? Is the Lord God calling that the first year? Well, listen to what he says. When you shall come into the land. So they came into the land in the spring of 1948. But then he tells them, when you come into the land, that's one thing. But now you shall, and it says, and shall have planted all manner of trees. So when did they plant all manner of trees? Not until February-ish of 1949. So the first thing they had to do was come into the land. The second thing they had to do was plant trees. Okay? Then they had to plant trees. So until they came into the land and planted trees, their year hadn't started yet. Why else hadn't their year started yet? They didn't have a government. Right? They had just held elections in January, and he didn't take office until March of 1949. So it wasn't until 1949 in March that you could say all of it actually began and they were officially now counted as being in the land. They were in the land, they planted all manner of trees, and they now had their government. Bang, now the year is starting, quote unquote, at Nissan. So now it's starting at Nissan. So what does it say? Three years shall the fruit thereof be uncircumcised and they can't eat it, okay? So what are the three years? From day one of planting? That's not one year, that's the beginning. That's day one of planting. So they planted right here in the beginning of 1949. So what would be one year later from finishing planting in 1949? It would be in the beginning of 1950, right? January, February of 1950. So by Nissan, or you could say spring of 1949, which takes us right here back up now to spring of 1949, they've now begun their first year. Do you know what else happened in that first year? Do you know what else is the evidence that it began in 1949? Check this out. This is from the Israeli government website. It says, Israel was admitted to the United Nations as a full member May 11th, 1949, and has been a full democratic country with equal rights for all its citizens from its inception until today. When did they join the UN? 1949, also in the spring. You see that? So here it is, in the spring of 1949, this time of Nissan and into spring, right? They now join uh, the UN. So what happens? Now they get to early of 1950 at the New Year of Trees. And what happens at the New Year of Trees in 1950? I think in January, maybe early February. Year one, year one year of the trees having been planted is now fulfilled, okay? And what did the Lord say? You can't take from these trees after the first year, okay? So that was one year of the trees being fulfilled and one year from, from uh, uh, spring of 49 to spring of 50 is one complete year of them now officially being in the land and in fact also a part of now NATO. And in the midst of it, in the later portion of it, they fulfilled the first year of the New Year of Trees. Okay? So now, from the end of uh, 1950 spring, it goes up here, 1950 spring to 1951 January, February, second New Year of Trees is complete by 
Later, spring of 1951, their second year is complete. Come back up here, spring of 51, and then you get to New Year of Trees. Three years, right here. Three years of trees is now complete in the New Year of Trees of 1952. Okay? And then by later spring of 1952, they have completed three years. What did it say? When you come into the land and shall have planted all manner of trees for food, it shall be, it, uh, you shall count the fruit thereof uncircumcised three years. It shall be uncircumcised unto you and you shall not eat of it. Okay? So they couldn't take from the land from one, two, three years. So that means in the third year, the third year of the trees was fulfilled in the third year. It was fulfilled in the first, in the second, and in the third. And then what does the Lord say? Then the Lord says, but in the fourth year, in the fourth year. Well, what happens when we go to the fourth year? 1952 is the end of three, so we go to the spring, right? Later spring of 1952. And this is the fourth year from later in the spring of 52 to 53. And what happened in the fourth year, January, February of 1953 was the fourth year of the new year of trees in the fourth year. And what were they to do? The Lord said they were to bring it to the Lord to be praised uh, to praise the Lord with all. And then what does he say? Because I've had some emails on this and I don't want people to get sidetracked. We have understood this. It says in verse in Leviticus 19, 25, it then goes on to say, in the fifth year, you shall eat of the fruit thereof. What is he saying? Now it's yours going forward. Okay. He's telling you when it's yours now to go with forward, which means we're not waiting till after the fifth year and then counting it. The entire fifth year was theirs and within it, they can now eat the fruit thereof. So what do we get? We get, see, spring of 53. So now we come to the spring of 53 to the spring of 54. And in the midst of it, which is in the fifth year, at the new year of trees, they now get to eat the fruit thereof. So what was the fifth year? It was really their first year. Three years they couldn't take from it. The fourth year they had to give it to the Lord. In the fourth year, they gave it to the Lord. And in the fifth year, he's letting them know it was theirs. And from there forward, it's yours. <clears throat> so what happens? That's year one. 53, 1953 to 1954, about spring to spring, maybe even from Feast of Weeks to Feast of Weeks, it's where the Lord God would be counting from, right? But they offer, operate on Nissan too, right? So from spring to spring, 1953 to 1954, completed their first year. He told them it was theirs at this point, and that means going forward. So what happens? You count out 70 years. As you count out 70 years, look at this, 2022 to 2023 is what? The completion of the 70th year. Not maybe, right? It's not a math whiz. Just counted 70 years from when the Lord said it was theirs. It began to be theirs in the fifth year and bang, that point forward, <coughs> it's theirs. But the evidence, Okay, the evidence that nothing has yet happened is what? Is evidenced by the understanding of the revelation of Daniel chapter 9 when the Lord God said 70 weeks, which means feast of weeks are determined. Look at this to cut off, 
to cut off. Seventy weeks are determined upon thy people. When I had gone into this even recently, and I was talking with Mike and some of the other brothers had been talking about it for a couple of years, I had bounced back on back and forth on it for a long time. But I'm going to show you today that it, it can't be that the 70 weeks is strictly related to Jerusalem when they captured it, even though the count to Jerusalem is at the end of 14 years, the 70 years of Jerusalem would be fulfilled. You might want to say, well, we can probably just say it is. But we have to go look at the scriptural evidence, right? But here's the good thing. If somebody says, well, no, no, remember, there might be more than one Babylon, right? In fact, there probably is more than one Babylon. There might be a way to see it that at the end of the 70th, when they come out, that the final Babylon is destroyed as well. So there is that potential of looking at it that way. But I'm going to show you what Daniel was talking about. You see, because what Daniel said about him understanding the years according to Jeremiah. Okay, it's a big deal. That, that's the key to understanding it. <clears throat> but what we also have to understand is when they got Israel in 1948, do you know they also had Jerusalem? It was separated, right? It was separated, but they still had Jerusalem. In 1967, you had the Six Day War to which they got Jerusalem back right, the other half of it, but they turned around and they gave the Temple Mount to Jordan to control. Now you can say, well, the Jews still control uh, the other half of Jerusalem now, right? They still do because they've been building on it, right? They've been encroaching, encroaching, and encroaching. But they still had, they were still what? In the land. They still had Jerusalem when they came into the land in 1948. You see, because it was the uh, it was the British that were holding Jerusalem for the 50 years, right? And people would say, well, until they would say 50 years to 1967, but they were holding it after even I think it was what 1918 uh, was it 1898 or. 1888 or something like that, 1898, I think it was, when they had made this, this decree and there was this 50 years, well, uh, uh, um, uh, British were holding it, right? See, under it was under the British mandate and they held it. But in 1948, when Jerusalem moved in, the British were no longer in control. You see, the Jews had a portion of it. So when we're looking at when they came into the land, there's no getting around this count and trying to say, well, maybe it's the fifth year and then it goes one further. It, it doesn't line up. 